Hello everybody, this is Sandy Reese with StampinCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks so much for joining me on this lovely uh, first day of July. We have uh, some great things go coming this month. One of them is our new online exclusive um, products that are coming out on July 6th, so make sure to check the website for that. Um, I'll post a link below. Well, I'm not going to yet because they're not on there yet. Uh, but they'll be there on the six some great new Christmas um, products. So um, super cute, and I think you'll really enjoy those. Okay, so today we are doing another card using the super cool stamp set. I'm going to be using this pretzel set today, but I'm also going to use the charming sentiments. I wanted a different sentiment. I needed something kind of small. So I'm just using the woohoo. You could do, I might do hey there today. Uh, and then I'll show you the woohoo. We'll just, you know, it's a pretzel. So, you know, why would you, why would you send someone a pretzel card? To me, because I think it's funny. I love to send just quirky cards. And this is per quirky because I, I just think this is the best set. Okay, let's get started. All right. Now, let me tell you, we have this designer paper that has pretzels that coordinates with this stamp set. And this is the, I'm gonna look it up real quick here because I can't think of the name off the top of my head. The Delightfully Eclectic um, Designer Paper. It goes with a lot of the different stamp sets. It has paper that, that you know, just goes on its own. But it does coordinate with several of our stamp sets. And this is on page 129. It's a big pack. It's 12 by 12, but it comes with 48 sheets. Normally we get 12 sheets in a pack. This one, you get four of each. So you can make a ton of cards just with one of the patterns. But you can see this is our pretzel pattern right here. And it's in Calypso Coral, and then it's got a fun little stripe on the back. But we are gonna use the pretzel because uh, that's what it's all about today. It's pretzels. I love, I love pretzels. I usually have to brush most of the salt off of them if they're too salty, because my poor old age body can't take salt anymore. Uh, but I also like this, the sweet, like the cinnamon pretzels with the frosting, which I shouldn't be eating too many of those either. But every once in a while, my little Auntie Anne's. So I put a piece of white on the inside. Now I have a piece of white on the outside as well, and I have just run this through the new um, distress brick embossing folder just to give it a little texture We're, we don't need to see too much of this but I just wanted a little texture in the background so you could use whatever you have doesn't really matter you could use polka dots whatever you want all right I have another piece of the calypso coral and I will post the measurements on my blog the link is below so that you don't have to write it down I'm gonna put this one kind of at an angle right here. This is a standard layout, I like this layout. And then this is three by four. So you can get 12 pieces uh, of, this, of this out of a sheet of 12 by 12 um, paper. Okay, now I also have a, a vellum circle. This I cut with our, I punched with our two and three eighths inch circle punch that's in the catalog, and I'm just gonna stick that right there, just to add a little texture to our card. All right, let's stamp. Stamp our pretzel first. I have a, just a little scrap of basic white, and I'm gonna stamp this in the Calypso Coral. Nice, and let's get our hay there. I don't know if that's gonna fit. You know what, it's not gonna fit. So I don't have a larger piece of this, so we're just gonna go with our original plan. But if you were gonna use the hay there, I would cut a strip that's maybe 5 8 inch wide. This is only a half inch wide. So, you know, whatever sentiment you wanna use, that's you gotta cut it to size, right? All right, you guys know that, that's obvious. <laughs> All right, so I am going to just quickly, I did not cut one out ahead of time. It doesn't take long. 
We don't have dies for this set. So you do, if you want your pretzel cut out, you got to do it the old fashioned way. Just remember cutting, fussy cutting is character building. It's good for you. And then it makes you appreciate our dies and punches so much more when we have them. And I know some of you would really enjoy fussy cutting. I don't mind it a little bit, but it's not something I wanna do every day, all day. Just because I'm not very good at it. Okay, I want to add just, a. we've got some texture going on. We've got our print, we've got our, our background that's embossed, we've got some vellum. I'm gonna take a little bit of this um, white herringbone ribbon just going to cut off a little bit here, get my ribbon snips. Let's just tie this kind of in a knot. I want it kind of flat, but I'm going to hide that knot behind my pretzel. So let's, I'm going to just cut that off straight and cut this off just a little bit more. I didn't tie it in a hard knot because it'll make it a little too bulky. So I have a nice soft knot and let's just see if we can get it stuck down with some seal adhesive. All right, <laughs> I feel like this is harder than it, this is looking harder than it really is. I don't know what my problem is, okay. Let's just stick that down. That'll hold it in place. I think I'm gonna take a little piece of scotch tape though. And just to keep it adhered. Okay. All right, now I want to pop this up. So let's grab a couple dimensionals. I think that's about the same depth as my knot. If you do tie the knot tighter, and it's a little thicker, you can do two layers of dimensional to get it up. We just don't want it to kind of look bowed out. All right, pop that down there. Then we're going to add, is that stuck? Yeah, that's stuck. We're gonna add our little banner. And I'm gonna flag, flag it by hand, because I like to live dangerously. And we're gonna trim this off, so we just have a little bit poking under there. And let's pop this whole thing up. Uh, I put my, my adhesive right over to the edge, didn't I? Let's see how far we can get this scooched over. I just, just want it coming out, that'll work. Cute, 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 cute. All right, I feel like my vellum's popping up. There we go. All right, let's add just a couple of dots. I've got, these are the classic matte dots. Since I'm only doing two colors, right now I don't have any embellishments that are Calypso Coral. I could add gold or something, but I'm gonna do these white ones right here. I got three little white ones left, so why not use them, right? Otherwise, they'll just be sitting there saying, use me, I'm up here all alone. And throw a nut, oh, maybe we'll put one on the vellum. Come on, scooch over. Yeah, that's on the vellum. Okay, that's it. Isn't that cute? Funny, it's fun. You could do, you know, whatever sentiment you want. Hey there, you know. You're so salty. You could write that on the inside if you want. You're, you're so twisted. I don't know. There, I'm sure there's. you guys could come up with some pretzel puns um, or sentiments to put on the inside. If you do, post them below because we would love to have them. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. 
and um, check back on Monday. I've got a super colorful, fun card that we're gonna do um, using the soda bottle on the super cool stamp set. So I will see you then. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.